How's it going guys? This is a video on how to set up your A4 printer, unbox it, put it on a table, try to use a nice uh, flat surface stainless steel or we, we've used granite um, and yeah, set it up nice and flat. You can use a spirit level for that. Um, we just go to those extra lengths just to make the printing process a bit better. Alright, so this is the printer. Um, you've got your power save feature help you got menu back enter online and cancel um, we're going to be using your uh, middle tray and the back tray of the printer so let's get started i'm going to take my ethernet cable i'm using an ethernet cable so in order to do that i plug it directly into the back here okay if you're using a printer cable you can plug it into there as well all right ethernet cables in and then i'm going to take my power cable plug it into the bottom here Okay, make sure that's nice and in. All right, next, you've got a power button on the side here, so we're gonna flip that on, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the front of the printer. So it's turned on for us already. Now, sometimes it doesn't turn on. If it doesn't, there is your power button there. So that's how you're gonna be turning the printer on and off, is uh, in your bottom right corner there. Okay, so it's turning on, it's initializing, as you can see there. All right, let's let that set up, get going. So it's saying waiting for a network there. That means because I've put it in an ethernet cable, it's finding the IP address. All right, okay. Just intensity doing what it needs to do. Okay, guys, it's gonna make a noise, make a noise. When it stops making a noise, then you can start printing with it. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to use the menu. Click the up key button. And then it's going to give you a bunch of uh, different menus here. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go down. We're going to select configuration. We're going to go to network and then go down to IP address. There's your IP address there. Uh, 192.168.1.147. You're going to, you will type that into your um, RIP software when you're wanting to add your printer in. Uh, sorry, add, yeah, add your printer in. Once you've done that, guys, uh, we're going to want to lock the IP address. We're going to go back to the main menu. In the main menu, we're going to go down to Admin Setup. Select that. We want to put six number nines. So I'm going to press down. There's number nine. Down, enter, down, enter, down, enter, down, enter, down, enter. Six times. That will then allow you to go inside there. Once you're inside there, we're going to uh, go to Network Setup. We're going to go down to IP address set, enter, and we're going to set that to manual. I'm going to send it on manual on mine, uh, but you'll set that to manual. What that does is it fixes the IP address. It means that when you turn your printer on every day, it's not going to change its IP address. It's staying as the same one that you originally put in. Okay, if you have IP address problems in the future, you can come back here, set that to auto, turn your printer on and off, and then uh, it will find a new IP address. But generally, it works very well so i'm going to go back out now that is how you fix your ip address let's go back into there let's go down to calibration inside calibration you're going to be adjusting your registration so if you have any problems with uh your maybe your white is printing off your colors or your yellow is printing off your colors then you run adjust registration don't ever run adjust density and add, keep this on off so this will be on off always keep that on off don't change that at all Okay, very important. All right, let's go out. That is how you use the menu, guys. Now, it says ready to print here. Ready to print means, and tray one empty. Tray one is referring to your bottom tray there. This is your tray at the bottom. Now, we're never going to use this tray. Okay, this, this tray is for copier machine. It's for printing documents. That's not a tray we use. We are using the multi-purpose tray, the MP tray. Opening it up. Taking that out. Releasing the bottom, okay, and then this is your tray. So you've got a little uh, blue lever on the side here. If you push that towards the tray, you can see it launches it up. So you basically, you can put a piece of paper in there, and uh, once it's in there, you put that up, and then you can um, press online to feed the paper through. Very important before you uh, send that paper through, make sure to open up your back tray, like so. Okay, and then the paper can come out on top there. 
All right, guys, that's how you use the tray system. So your paper's gonna go in there, exit out the back. Let's close that up. All right, next thing is how to open up your printer. So we're gonna be clicking the, that button there, and that opens up your printer. So this is a CMYK printer. Same same concept as our Uprint. You open up your printer there, and that is how you get your toners. All right, let me. I'm just gonna show you how to take your toners out. Um, I'm just going to show you how to take your toners out. You just slide it out, just like that. To replace your toner, you simply unlock it on the side here. So I've got one, uh, doing this one hand. You unlock it on the side, you lift up that side, and then you pull towards you. Okay, and then that is how you change your toner. You place it back in, like so. So I'm doing that with one hand. And then you lock it back into place. Once it's locked back into place, then you can pick that up. And you can place it back inside your printer. You just pretty much slide it in. Like that, nice and easy, and it's in. Alright guys, that is how you change your toners. Um, here is your LED bars. These are quite important. So in terms of uh, maintenance, uh, I would say just taking a dry cloth maybe once a month and just wiping that LED bar. Powder te tends to jump up and hit this LED bar or dust. And that basically... Uh, gives you the correct registration so it's printing the colors down properly if this is dirty if it's got lines on it it's going to show lines in your logo so make sure to clean that once a month all right uh, let's close that when closing it push down in the center like so okay once you close your tray again or your lid it's gonna the printer is gonna make a noise and then it's gonna get ready to print all right guys let me I'm, I'm gonna show you one more thing here Lastly, uh, how to read the printer. When it says ready to print, it means that there is no artwork inside the printer. The printer has a memory on board. Um, so if you're printing uh, 32 pages and you send it through, the 32 pages are going to come to this printer and it's going to hold it in its memory bank. So I'm just going to put an example here. If I'm going to go to print information, say configuration and press execute. Okay, so now it's saying print configuration. Okay, it's going to start moving now. It's going to want to start printing. Okay, let it do its, its work. Once it's done doing that, it's going to say install paper. And then you're going to install paper into your multi-purpose tray. Um, what happens is, guys, if you want to cancel that, so you can see the printer starting to move now. Okay, it's adjusting the temp. Now you can see the wheels wanting to move there. All right, now it says install paper, MP tray, A4 size. Okay, so now install paper means that the printer has received the paper from the RIP software. So now I, I executed this on the RIPs, I mean on the printer, but if the RIP software sends a graphic to here, it will say install paper, MP tray. MP tray again is this tray here. Okay, um, if your paper, if you didn't slot your paper in while it was moving, you can just simply press the online button. Okay, see so this little wheel now is going to move. It's making a noise. Okay, and then it's going to take the paper through. Alright guys, that is how you use the printer.